Guys, Mark Goldberg here from Mark Vlogs Watches with a quick word for your friend and mine, Archie Luxury, Paul Pluta, AC3, Archibald Chesterfield III. You know, he invented the quick whist watch check, and uh, the rest of us on YouTube, well, we just stole it. Help keep Archie full-time on YouTube by liking this video, watching this video, tell your fuckhead friends, and make sure to subscribe to his Patreon. And now, Archie Luxury. Hi guys, it's Paul Pluta. Paul Pluta from the Paul Pluta and the Archie Luxury channel. Today I'm doing paid review, JU13, JU13, quick wristwatch check. I invented the wristwatch check. I'm wearing a Rolex Daytona two-tone with Maserati blue dial. Now this is for JP. Pardek versus Lange. Very interesting decision there itself there. Hi Arch. I've sent you a contribution of 100. 100 smackaroonies. US variety, not Aussie. Quick review plus advice. I currently have a five-piece Rolex and three-piece additional other luxury watch collection. Eight-piece combo meal deal total. The pieces include a Rolex Explorer 139mm, a Rolex Explorer 2 Polar Swiss only dial, Rolex Submariner Bluesy, Rolex Yachtmeister Platinum dial, Air King 40mm, Rolex Air King 40mm, non Rolex, we've got a Pam 210, a Tag Hoyer Carrera Chrono. And an Amiga Seamaster Professional. I would like to add a dress watch in the 10,000 US dollar US range. Parek or Lange an option. Any advice would be great. Jay, thank you. Jay, I really do appreciate paid reviews. From a man of class, a man of talent. What more can you seriously want to have there? That is is the full combo meal meal deal hunger buster the hunger 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 buster and i gotta tell you man he's got a nice collection there uh, i'm just taking a look at this uh i gotta say it's beautiful absolutely it pops looking at it in the box there because i'm see i print a run sheet in black and white so it's not quite uh, I'm just just previewing it because I'm going to put the video the image up on the screen. Yeah, that's a nice 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 collection there. Oh, what the fuck's the wife got? Fuck, that is hideous. What is it? Some sort of is it an AP or it's an Amiga? I think it's anyhow that doesn't even worth a mention. Okay. Let's have a bit of a talk about this and what do we do? Okay, so so I got to say, Jay, Jay's his name. Uh, nice collection, well done. The Rolex stuff really pops. No compromises here. We've got Explorer 2 and then we've got a Bluesy. We've got an Explorer 1 and then we've got a Yachtmeister. And then we've got a Air King, the new Air King, which... Uh, that's just a, a top lineup. The uh, I got to be completely honest with you. The the Pam two ten. Yes, yes, that's that's a nice Pam. Nice Pam. Very very uh, nice. That's a nice classic vintagey type Pam. Um, the the Hoya Carrera tag Hoya Carrera Chrono. No idea why you have that in the collection. And also the Omega. The Seamaster. Um, i got to be honest with you. Why? 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 Indeed. Why? Why? Okay. What I'm thinking is, i got to tell you, I love your collection, Jay. I love the collection. Um... Man, upgrade your wife's watch. I mean, fuck, is that... Looks like... My auntie who recently died, God rest her soul, she had an Amiga like that. It was fucking atrocious. And I gotta be honest with you, 
Um, Got to be honest with you. Um, I don't. I think you got to upgrade it. Okay, that that that's not a that's not really that cool a watch. If it's an AP, it's a fucking ugly AP. I think it's an Amiga. I think it's an Amiga. Just looking at the bracelet, it's more Amiga than AP. Um, okay, so let, let's let's talk about this. Man, the problem is $10,000 Patek or Lange. We're almost there. We're riffing Cooey. We're riffing Cooey. This is the problem. See, $10,000 US dollars. Uh, we're going to be getting a Patek which is a wee bit small. It's going to be a compromised paddock or lange, okay? So what I would really, really prefer you to do is to say, okay, okay, we've got 10,000 US macaroonies. Let's keep the Pam. Let's ditch the Hoya Carrera Chrono and let's ditch the Seamaster. The Seamaster uh, will be, should be easy to flick. And, he, and the tag, tag Hoyers, they've traditionally, they've been pretty good to flick. They, they do flick easily. So, I'm kind of of the belief that, um, I'm of the belief we've got to put a bit more money in, okay? We're almost fucking there. We're almost there. I I, I can smell a decent Patek, and I'd hate you to get a compromise. See, 10,000 US dollar. The problem is we're looking at a, a 3919, 33 mil. Okay, a modern 33 mil, hobnail bezel, da-da-da-da-da. But it's smidgen compromise. If we could just put a couple more thousand dollars in, we'd be over the hump like we could be looking at 5186 sorry 5196 paddock territory which that'd be much nicer much nicer you're going to get a really okay yes it's an entry level paddock but it's fucking it's it, it's it's an absolutely uh beautiful 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 paddock philippe so the the way I see it, I'd be thinking five one nine six. That that's that's where I'd want to go in paddock. Uh, now, I I think, um, see, we can possibly get there five one nine six, but we've got to be prepared. We've got to put a little bit more money in. Okay, that's the thing. Okay. Uh, I reckon 5196, 5296 is probably, that's pushing it far too. Uh, but I, I'd even say, you know, the other one that's a, a great piece is the 5111, the 5111, which is a very Art Deco square rectangular sort of uh, piece, which you'd possibly get in there for just a smidgen just a bit more money just a bit more money okay so my opinion is 10 is almost there just don't cheapen out for the sake of of, of cheapening out um i i would say lange lange there's some great choices in lange um the 1815 is a is is, is a beautiful beautiful range of watch the 1815 and you're almost there we're almost there uh there's also the saxonia there's some really nice choices um lange or paddock what is better i think it comes down to the personal choice there the thing is these entry level paddocks or langes they're amazing pieces they are truly amazing uh that's why i'm saying don't just compromise because you want to spend the 10. Fuck off. Fuck off that um, uh, Carrera. Fuck off the Amiga. I mean, come on. You've got Rolex. What the fuck are you going to wear the Amiga if you've got a, a Bluesy for? And you've got a Yachty. You've got two. Two decent dis No discount. Those are full price divers. Don't need a discount diver. I, I, what would I say? Lange or Paddock? What is better? 
look, I've got to be honest with you. Lange, amazing brand. And I had a fight. I had a guy who I gave some consultancy. He's a bit of a bit of a dick because he says to me, Lange is so much better than Paddock. Well, possibly it is, to be honest with you. It, there is some truth there. But in my opinion, I've always held it dear to have a Patek Philippe. I've always wanted Patek Philippe. Lange, I think Lange makes some amazing things, amazing pieces. Um, and it's the stories behind the piece that make it amazing. I was down in Sydney, good friend of mine, fan of the channel. He's got a two-tone bluesy. He told me the story. His father was on the up. His father was looking at a 5035 annual calendar paddock or a Lung A1. His father ended up getting the Lung A1. And you know, that was a really cool story. That's a very, very cool story. And I think both brands, Paddock and Lange, both amazing. Some people would say the less the thing about Lange is apparently with Lange, this is the legend, the finishing on the base models is just as good as the top of the range. Whereas on Patek, they say, Patek, well, if you're in that lower tier, you know. But but I honestly believe, I think that's false because because so many decent Paddocks, the 5196, it's kind of the iconic Paddock. It's kind of like, it's not the top of the range by any means of, of pricing, but it's got so many of the Paddock attributes. So Paddock or Lange, uh, i got to be honest with you, both are fantastic both are fantastic go and have a look at the deal see what i do is when, when i'm hunting for a watch when i'm buying a watch i think of i have a few choices lange and a a, a paddock and you, you kind of see what the dealers have to offer if the if your budget is really tight and a nice lange come up by all means get a lange if you're it, vice versa, it could be the paddock is cheaper. Got to be the one you like. You will see it once you feel it and you smell it and 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 and, and embrace it. You'll see paddock alange. What a wonderful decision! I just think for ten thousand US dollars, there's so many good things. Just put a bit more in. Come on, put a bit more in. I would hate you to miss out on a really cool piece because you wanted to keep it under. Fuck that. Fuck these stupid budgets. It's not the fucking Dave Ramsey show. This is fucking Archie Luxury channel, okay? Fuck be dead. No fucking, oh, the wife's giving me, fuck off. Fuck off, okay? Go and fucking get a bit more. Come on, you, you, you can squeeze a bit more. Come on. You can squeeze 10, you can squeeze fucking 13, okay? Just squeeze, squeeze a bit more, get the watch, and, and you'll thank me. And get, piss off the, the Seamaster. Piss off the fucking um, uh, Tag Heuer. No place for that garbage in your collection. Get rid of that stuff. Get a Pardec uh, or a Lange. Whatever. I don't I don't actually really... If it was me, what would I do? I'd, I'd go for a 5196 or a 5111. I think they're fucking amazing. But, hey, hey, you, you work it out. Lange is not a terrible choice. That's not a, a terrible, Lange is a, a wonderful brand. So um, work out which way to go, but uh, definitely get rid of the fucking Amiga. Get rid of the fucking Carrera. That's what I'd be doing. I'm Paul Pluto. This is the Paul Pluto channel, Talking Watches. Like, subscribe, tell your fuckhead friends. Don't forget, guys, men cannot live on Google Ads alone. I need your support. Patreon, Patreon. Also, get a paid review done. Come on, get a paid review done. It keeps me here. No paid reviews. I don't fucking survive. I'm Paul Pluto. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Oh. Hey, Archie Luxury fans. If you're into luxury, then you got to be into 66 Buick Rivieras. Check out my son and I, Alex, as we restore this beautiful 66 Buick. Neighbors are having a picnic, you know, having fun and stuff. Me, I'm doing cars. It's what I've done my whole life.
from the creators of the Archie Luxury, the Paul Pluter and the Archie Luxury Corporate Channel comes something very special and appetizing. Elite Broadcasting. Elite Broadcasting. Heavy hitting journalism. Now powered by the Archie Luxury Media Group. Please stay tuned for Elite Broadcasting. 120,000 subscribers can't be wrong. Oops, yes, we used to be Elite NWO, but we had to rename when the left wing got nasty. They got nasty that we were telling the truth. Elite Broadcasting invites free speech, free speech, free speech for all. Elite Broadcasting, powered by the Archie Luxury Media Group. <laughs>